Hey yo, welcome to another one of Club Doom's Quickie Quickies. Last time we talked about Count Graduan, a lot of people in the comments was like, Hey yo, I want to hear more about this Mary Lee Walsh person. And I would be happy to oblige. As this one-sided beef Chris had with her be one of the funniest things I've heard in Christory. Mary Lee Walsh was the Dean of Student Affairs at Piedmont, Virginia Community College. She single-handedly thwarted Chris's love quest by ripping up his attraction signs and suspending him for a whole year year after he tried turning what was supposed to be a simple meeting in her office to an epic DBZ fight that would put Gohan versus Cell to shame. Of course, seeing that she was one of the few people in Quick's life to not just put up with his BS, this meant war, and would result in the creation of one of the greatest tropes to come out of Sonichu, that being the implementation of Chris's real-life one-sided beefs to act out his power fantasies on people he didn't like, i.e. those who dared to make him accountable for his actions. So how this all go down. Well, tensions first rose when she would scold Chris for posting unauthorized Sonichu News Dash newsletters around the campus. But the YouTube censorship fecal matter wouldn't hit the fan until she caught him with his infamous attraction sign. Mary tore down the sign in an attempt to educate him on the ineffectiveness of his methods. However, Chris took this lesson as Bunga Bunga, no China for fat kid. Chris would continue to put up his embarrassing signs across campus until Mary had had just about enough and brought Chris into her office. What happened during that meeting has been mass debated for the past decade and a half. If you ask Chris what happened, they'd probably tell you they and Sonichu faced off against the evil witch in a battle of epic proportions. But if you asked Mary, she'd probably just say Chris acted like a jack <laughs> while doing Steven Seagal karate motions. Chris even admitted to pulling the dreaded curse hame ha on her. Like, dang. Chris would get that ass banned from PVCC for a whole year as a result. This event would later be dramatized in Sonichu issue. Too. Also had to take anger management classes and get psychiatric help before readmission. Well, at least it worked for the rest of Chris's college career. Now, if Chris good at anything, it's holding grudges. Mary would become one of the main antagonists of the Sonichu comics for years to come. Chris even coined the term Walshing, meaning to ban Chris from a public place and not let the Chandlers use autism as an excuse for their bad behavior. Eventually, Chris would reach out to Mary with a framed, hand-drawn apology. She would later respond by sending the Chandlers a trust passing notice. Well, excuse me, princess. In the letter, Chris blames everything on factors beyond they control, and tries to be condescending while playing victim at the same time. Kinda like White Bowser in his forgiveness video. Walsh finally retired in 2019, after which Chris would continue to drag her name through the mud. But apparently during the jail saga, she's the mayor of Quickville now. So we can officially say 20 years be the cutoff point for Chris Chan's grudges. So let's say Chris get out of jail and see my videos. I could expect to be forgiven by the time I'm in my mid-40s. Noice. Hopefully, I won't have to wait that long for you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'ma probably be reading the apology letter at some point in the near future, but until then, I'll catch y'all the next time. Sweet nectar. So